So what happens with this aging is we cook in our kitchen and we unknowingly are creating ages and we're destroying our food. But it's good for us because it kills bugs. It increases the flavor of the food and it makes it easier for us to digest the food. So we should cook food. But the factors that affect what happens to the food is humidity. Now pay attention here because this is all of you in your kitchen. Humidity, the temperature at which you cook your food, the pH, and antioxidants that you cook it with. Wet cooking is preferred, because I already told you, moist. When you have moist cooking, poaching, stewing, braising, steaming, very good. Anything that's moisture cooked is going to have very little ages in it. The other thing, remember, because it's moist, what's the highest temperature of water you can go to? 212. 212, you're done. You can't go higher than that. You're done. That's how nature planned it. Nature did that for you. Protected you. Oh, well, I, I need 420 degrees. So frying in fat and oil, avoid it. Even shallow frying and deep frying. you got to avoid that. Because the temperature, look, you all know that a reaction, you want this reaction to occur quickly, what do you do? Increase the temperature. And this is exactly what we're doing when we're frying your foods. You're increasing the temperature. Too much, unnaturally. The only time nature will see that is when you incinerate a body. That's the only time it'll see such high temperatures. So the higher the temperature, the more ages you're gonna manufacture. Keep your temperature down. The longer you cook the food, the more ages you'll also produce. High humidity produces less ages. pH. How can I adjust the pH of my meat or fish or chicken? I marinate it with lemon and vinegar. Come on, I knew about that. You knew about that. You've all been doing it, but you didn't know why you were doing it. But now you know that you will never cook food again without marinating it properly with lemon and vinegar. And the reason why? Because I'm teaching you today that that changes the pH of the, of the food. So remember, reactions occur based on temperature, how close they are to each other, and the pH. Pitch also affects all these ages. Yes, sir. It's very good, isn't it? So it's teaching you. So you want to put lemon, you want to put vinegar, and you want to marinate it and then eat it, because that'll produce less ages in it. And the methods, look at the temperatures. Boiling something will take you to 100 degrees. Broiling will take you double, 225 degrees. Deep frying will take you to 180 degrees. Oven, air frying, 230 degrees. Why do you think I don't use my air fryer at home and I discourage it? Because it's dry, high heat. And when it becomes nice and brown and caramelized, or whatever that word term is, Delicious tasting. Oh, yeah, I didn't fry it in oil. Mm. Ah, I air fried it. Excuse me, you just made the same amount of ages. Not doing anyone a favor. Do not air fry your food, for goodness sake. Roasting takes you to 177 degrees. Too much. Microwaving food. Now, this was very interesting in my research. So when you microwave food, so here you got a, something. Let's say it's just a piece of... Uh, meat, chicken. When you microwave it, how does it heat it? Is it from the outside? No. The microwave goes inside the chicken and the water molecules inside start oscillating and when they oscillate, they liberate the heat, right? So it's water. So what's the temperature? That's it. So surprisingly, and we've all been taught to stay away from microwaves, stay away from microwaves, stay away. But actually, micro now of course, you, you have to use microwave utensils. You cannot take stainless steel and put it in there. You can't take copper. Why? Because the microwave will heat the metal and you, you have a problem, right? So here, when you have these utensils and you put the food in it, only the food will absorb the microwaves and will heat it up to that temperature. So I'll show you some, some numbers. So the do's are your meatballs, make them in a stew because the stew temperature is only 212. Meat curry, make a curry out of whatever you're gonna make, curry. I think those Indians had it right. 
the curry, curry, making a curry. They had it right from the beginning. Making a chili. A chili is also okay. It's not going to go too high in temperature. And what is this sous vide? What is that? That's French, of course. What they do is they poach the meat, right? They put it in, they have a little temperature probe that goes in there and it tells you when it's ready, but it's cooked in water, basically. Yeah, it's very nice. You've got to buy that little machine. And then broiled meats has 50% less ages than grilled meat. Microwave meat has 50% less ages. That's interesting, isn't it? The microwave meat has 50% less ages in it than blackened or grilled and all that. The don'ts do not dry. The dry processed ground meat, for example, hamburgers, sausages, they are very high in ages. Remember, these ages not only cause atherosclerotic disease, premature aging, all the things I talked about, but also promote cancer. Because to not have cancer, you need a perfect physiology, right? That physiology where these cells come along, your T cells, your B cells, your macrophages, they recognize cells that have gone bad, and they take them out. They take them out. But that surveillance system is all dependent on the right stoichiochemistry of your molecules in your body to do recognition. They can't recognize. If they can't work properly, they can't recognize these abnormal cells. Promotes cancer. Deep frying, shallow frying should be avoided because you got the lipid oxidation and the temperature all together, perfect storm. You're making lots of ages. Now you're cooking inside as well. You're getting cooked. Roasting produces ages, grilling produces ages. We talked about that already. So let's look at some numbers. What is the daily recommended ages? Look, we all make ages, okay? As long as you're alive, you're all gonna make ages, right? As long as you're alive, you're always going to make it. And the body has a mechanism to get rid of ages, right? It has the receptors. They get rid of that. A little bit of inflammation comes in. And then you get your homeostasis. What is the definition of homeostasis? Homeostasis is that your body is allowed to swing within a narrow range. So you're always going to make some rages. It's just that when we make so much rages or we consume too much rages that our homeostasis gets knocked out. Can't handle it anymore. So, you are allowed 15,000. Burgers and chicken nuggets, 7,800. You're already halfway there, my friend. <laughs> Processed cheese, 8,700. That's a lot. Because remember, the fermentation process will generate ages as well. The older the cheese, the more ages are in it. So you can have some cheese, but just have a little bit. Breakfast bar, very healthy. First thing in the morning, I'm gonna have a breakfast bar today. 2,200, I'm already well on my way there. Tofu, not that healthy. Not an advocate of tofu. It has a lot of ages in it. Butter, in three ounces, got 26,000 units. Margarine, 7,000. Of course, you don't want it because it's got trans fats. Peanut butter, 7,000. Look, all this is processed stuff, peanut butter. Fried chicken, 8,000. One portion. Poached is less than 1,100. Rather poach your chicken. Raw chicken is less than 800. Of course, you don't eat it. But I'm just trying to show you that when you poach it, you're going to make some ages, but you're only going to make 300. But the moment you fry your chicken, now you've created 8,000 ages. Bacon fried with no oil, 90,000 in three ounces of, of it. Wake up in the morning, I'll have some eggs, throw in three slices of bacon, please. And you've already topped it, and you're wondering why your skin looks like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> Parched and... Okay, let's look at some more stuff. Beef. When you boil it, it's 1,538. When you roast it, it's 6,000. When you grill it, it's 7,400. When you broil it, it's 11,270. Now, I know some of you are taking pictures of this, but this is going to be on my video as well. You all will be able to see this because I really, really want you to look at these numbers and share them. The poultry is 1,100 only if you poach it. But if you pan fry it, it's almost 5,000. If you roast a barbecue, it's 18,000. So don't tell me that roast chicken is that good for you. 
because it's going to blacken it, it's going to destroy the meat, it's going to force the Maillard reaction, and it's going to force ages in it because it's, it's all unnatural. It's that oil, proteins, glucose is already in it, high temperature, you're done. And maybe you're marinated. Now you're even worse off than before. Salmon. Salmon goes up to pan-fried 3,000, broiled 3,000, boiled 1,082. Why do you think I like salmon so much? Hmm? When you go out, we have salmon, right? Eggs. Look what happens when you fry an egg. It goes up to 2,700. That's why you rather poach it or if you make a, a, a um, loose scrambled egg, that's fine. And that too, take it off quickly. Don't let the egg get brown. The Maillard reaction is the browning reaction. Anytime you turn the food brown or black, you, you're done. You, 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 you've hurt yourself. You've hurt yourself. Your food must not turn brown or black. Cheese, American cheese, 8,700, too much. Grains, now look at this. Whole wheat bread is only 36. Now, where is all the ages in bread? It's in the crust. Because the crust has turned what color? Brown. Brown. Biscuits, oven baked, 441. Chips, 865. High temperature. You ever go to one of these manufacturers, big ovens, high temperature, boom, boom. Fruits and vegetables, very low. All right? All of them are very, very, very low. Right? And even milk, for that matter, is low. Even whole milk, evaporated milk, is slightly higher. Why? Because there's not much glucose there. There's, there's galactose in milk, but that's the sugar that's in milk. So high temperature, very bad. Low moisture, very bad. So you want it moist, lower temperature. So broiling, grilling, frying, greater than 177, not recommended. So. 25% less ages in chicken if you steam it or poach it. That's how we're going to learn how to cook from now onwards. That's how we're going to learn how to make chicken. Hmm? Low, slow and slow cooking is better. For example, a crock pot, a pressure cooker, and of course, the fancy French way, and then curry. Right? Curry. All learn how to make curry. Chicken curry, or whatever you want. Eggs. Poach them, boil them. Pan fried creates ages and lightly scramble your eggs and then take it off quickly. The moment the white is now no longer clear and it's become white, just take it off. That's what I do. I take it off quickly. I don't, I don't let it get brown. I don't crust anything. The crust is no good. Inside the bread is oh, 10 times less ages. So you actually, if you know the aristocrats that were very smart in England years ago, what did they do? They used to make sandwiches, but they take the crust off, remember? They did, and then make these cucumber sandwiches, right? Now, bread has, has high glycemic index, so make sure you don't eat too much bread, but at least you're not getting the ages there too. So there's always a trade-off. So if you have to have a sandwich because you're having high tea with the queen, well then, sure, you can have it. Okay, not a problem. Quantity is very important. Dose is, is in the poison, right? So there you go. So whole wheat versus white flour, no difference. So don't think I'm eating whole wheat so I'm getting so much better. No, all you're getting is the husks. The husks have more vitamins in it and some fiber in it. But as far as the sugar in it is still pretty much the same and the amount of ages is still pretty much the same. So whole wheat versus white bread. Cursetin added to bread reduces ages. I love that because what that means is that if I'm gonna make bread from now onward, I'm gonna take a capsule of cursetin which is a flavonoid, and just put it in, the, put it in while I'm cooking it, and I'm going to make less ages while, while the bread is being baked. Okay. Cheese, high-fat and old-aged cheese has more ages because of the pasteurization, long curing, aging time, more fat also in it, older the cheese. Old cheese continues to evolve, right? Old cheese gets older and older and cures. It makes more and more ages, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I do like cheese because they do have a lot of uh, 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 they have a lot of fermentation products in them which are nice, but you can overdo it. Grains and legumes. So, what is this? Cook pasta al dente. What does that mean? That means just 
don't overcook your pasta. Cook it for only eight minutes, you'll generate less ages. 12 minutes is too much. Rice, less than 10 minutes. Instant pot, highly recommended. Not only kills the lectins, but also produces very little ages. Lentils should be soaked overnight and then moist cooked in your pressure cooker. So get a nice pressure cooker, get a nice instant pot, whatever. Learn how to use it because that, I'm telling you, is your ticket to remaining healthy. Don't blacken your vegetables. Don't, over, don't destroy your vegetables. Less ages in the raw state. Of course, we don't need raw stuff too much, but okay, fine, you can grill it, but don't blacken it. Don't blacken it. When you start seeing charred stuff on the top, it's no good. And if you do see it, kind of take it off. Nuts, big one. Roasted almonds has high ages. Same with other nuts. Don't eat roasted nuts. What do nuts have? A lot of omega-6. What is that omega-6 doing when you heat it up? You're causing more peroxidation. You create, and it's got some sugar in it. Yeah, you're creating glycation end products again. You want to eat nuts? Eat them raw. If they sugar and honey and then roasted, that's even worse. Because now you've got all the ingredients in it, right? So your nuts, you should go buy nuts. You can have nuts. I don't mind nuts. Don't eat too many almonds. They have a lot of oxalates in them. So have some pistachios and some other nuts that you want. Fine. And then just buy them raw and then just roast them in small batches without any oil on them, and just lightly, and then take them right out. That's all you need. But don't roast them till they're all brown and nice and caramelized. Definitely not. Or we'll eat them raw. That's the best. High-fat spreads like cream cheese, mayonnaise have high ages. Don't use mayonnaise. You don't need mayonnaise. Cream cheese. Prefer ghee or refined coconut oil. Why? And look, I said refined coconut oil. It's the only time I say refined as opposed to extra virgin. Because refined coconut is more healthy than extra virgin coconut oil. So you use ghee or refined coconut oil because those are saturated and they don't have those empty bonds that can interact and become oxidized. So if they don't get oxidized, they can't participate in ages production. Vegetable oils have, are high because of too many problems in the purification process. Do you know an oil processing plant looks like a petroleum plant? So bad. And you want to eat a product out of that? No way. Dry heat prepared crackers, chips, cookies. Terrible. But they have great taste. And you know what they also do, the manufacturers? Let me tell you something else they do. They make ages separately and they add it to the food because it tastes so good. Can't resist it. So they, not only do they make ages while they're making it, but they add it also for your enjoyment. So if you enjoyed this short segment, here's another clip that I think you'll really enjoy. And if you'd like to see the whole video, then click here.